Behind the cab on the left frame rail is a priming pump. This is important for bleeding the fuel system to ensure the fuel pump delivers diesel fuel to the engine. If you ever run out of diesel fuel, this pump could save you from a tow. To operate it, place a container below the air bleed plug to catch any fuel. Then attach a plastic hose to the plug. Fully loosen it and operate the priming pump up and down about 20 times until the fuel no longer contains any air bubbles. Then fully retighten the air bleed plug. Remove the hose and wipe off any fuel on the plug or surrounding area. Operate the priming pump up and down about 10 more times, then start the engine. If the engine doesn't start right away, repeat the process. When the engine starts, allow it to idle for about 5 seconds, then press the accelerator pedal and increase the engine speed for about 10 seconds. On the bottom of the fuel filter, your truck has a water separator. Its purpose is to separate any water from the fuel that may have formed in the fuel tank due to condensation. If this indicator is on, it means you need to drain water from the fuel filter. To drain the water separator, attach a plastic hose to the drain plug on the bottom of the fuel filter and direct it into a container. Loosen the plug and pump the priming pump 10 to 20 times to purge the water. Then tighten the plug and remove the hose. Now start the engine. If the engine doesn't start within 10 seconds, wait and try again. The message in the MID will go out when the engine has successfully started. Neglecting to have the fuel filter and water separator serviced can be one of the major contributors to hard starting. Be sure you're also using quality fuel from a trusted source. In cold climates, if water is permitted to accumulate in the fuel system, it will freeze and make starting the engine impossible.